Go get a close up. Uh, no. Gator. No, I'll let you do that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Get it off, get it off. Oh man, my shoes is getting dirty. Okay, you go first. I gotta find me another route. Cooking. Glad you got something good going on. I'm about to help her. I'm gonna put on my apron. <laughs> yep. Get the apron out the drawer for me. It's okay, you won't need it. you to the park in which we are staying. We are staying at Grand Lakes RV and Golf Course. It is a beautiful park. Very, very scenic as you can see. We had a Spanish moss trees that are located all around the park. Um, this park has a pool. This park has a golf course. This park has um, putting ranges. This park, this park has a little everything. So. We are gonna get out here. We are gonna enjoy this park because that's something that we have not been doing. Look at Craig over there. I've been shining in the sunlight. I've been thinking how I'm alright. There's a reason for my feelings. There's a reason why I'm here. That's cooking. Shout you got something good going on. And I'm about to help her. I gotta put on my apron. <laughs> yep. Get the aprons out the drawer for me. It's okay, you won't need it. Uh, just in case I get something on me. You won't need it, it's okay. You won't need it. So today I am going to make a Sunday dinner. I am uh, preparing for work tomorrow. So we wanna eat something really good. And so I got some lamb, lamb shakes. I got some lamb meat and I am going to uh, do a sear on them, brown them really, really good. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put it in a crock pot. Um, some people could like bake it, but the reason why I was gonna put it in a crock pot is because I'm gonna put also caramelized onions to it. I'm going to let it cook at a slower pace, so I'll put it on low. And then I am going to uh, put some red wine to it just so it could uh, cook down and really have a really good taste to it so hopefully you guys like lamb if you don't then sorry you guys you want to make sure it has a really really good coating of seasoning put your olive oil on there and like I said browned it um, you're probably wondering why am I not cooking it on the stove it's because whenever I use this uh, single, um, I call it like a little eye. Uh, I like to cook something that takes a longer time on this. That way it saves on the propane. So as you know, uh, propane can go by really, really fast. So I would rather use it for our furnace or our fire pit and not for something that has to cook for a long time. So that is a tip for you guys. If you have something that is needing to cook for a couple hours and you're already going to utilize your crock pot um think about getting one of these little handy eyes or countertop 
um, stove and it works off the electricity, saves you on your propane. I have transferred the lamb into the crock pot because of course I want that to simmer, I want that to cook, and I want it to be falling off the bone. You can put lamb in the crock pot. You do not have to bake it consistently. So that's why you can do this at the campground. You guys, so we are done. We are now eating our meal. It is the lamb shake with the Swiss chart mashed potatoes. All right. Tom gave us a good a good indicator that it was good. We also put a Greek salad with it. Thank you, Terry. And it has a lemon herb dressing to it. It goes well with the lamb. Every night I fall deep, fall deep in love. Yeah. But you really get me, get me. Make me fall to my knees, my knees. Every night I fall deep, fall deep. GoPro mm -hmm. uh, if we're at a location and we do use our phone sometimes it depends so um, guys we are talking to Jeff and Tina right hi uh, what's yeah. the name of your channel adventuring with Jeff and Tina all right um, they actually invited us over yeah. um, they actually where are you guys from we're from Vero Beach Florida Vero Beach Florida okay that's the east coast so they actually came up to visit us and they actually brought their camera their camper uh, you guys only about 10 minutes, 10, 15 minutes away from mm -hmm. us. All right. Yes. Not far we at all. love the adventure bandits. <laughs> awesome. So, so down to earth, just like you meet them on camera, is how they are in real life. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you guys Thank so you. much for visiting with oh, us. Oh, no too. problem. Thank you for coming mm -hmm. up and visiting. We have no. a gift for you. Oh, really? You guys are going to Panama. Is it Panama City or Panama mm -hmm. Beach? Panama City. Panama City? Mm -hmm. You go into beach when you get there? Yes. yes. Okay. We go to we, we all kind of beaches. <laughs> we love beaches. <laughs> we just wanted to give you a little oh, gift for that. Oh, and wow. And we hope you oh, enjoy awesome. it. So, oh, she it's got just the Corona look. She's been watching the video. She got the <laughs> Corona <laughs> premium. <in>. Every Monday. <laughs> every Monday, just like all we do is watch camping videos. Wow. That's that nice. is, uh, oh my God, now that is beautiful. Hey, that's a good wide one. <laughs> yes. <laughs> a lot in that one. That is nice. Oh, look at that. Okay, so, so you will have to have this cup. Yeah, that's what <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. That you is beautiful. Pull that, Pull that Thank out. So Pull that out. Pull that out. Oh, no problem. That is beautiful. Oh, I love them. Oh. Thank you guys so much. You guys are welcome. I hope you guys can mm -hmm. use them at the beach. Mm -hmm. the beach. Yes, yeah. in that bag is amazing. Yeah, yes. I mm -hmm. like it because it does not hold the sand. So, I like so that. Now, now you guys make it where we have to go to the beach now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta go now. You're well, welcome. We gotta go to the beach now. We gotta, we gotta drink the um, Corona Premier That's while right. we're on the beach. <laughs> we'll uh, make, and we'll make sure to send you guys a picture of us utilizing right. everything. Yes. That would be great. We awesome. Have, we hope you guys have a great time in Panama. Yeah. And I know that you guys have had a good time here in Ocala. Yes, we have. We the have. campground over there is awesome. It is. Yeah, it it's is. nice. You guys are more than welcome to come out. You want to get off the campground. Like I said, yeah. we, we're not that far. Awesome. Yeah. Yep. Hello. See, this is this is what I want uh, to pull our boat. Yeah, I want something like this to pull our boat. That way we can actually still RV and have our boat. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys, we just hung out with Jeff and Tina. They are also a YouTube um, vloggers. They're just starting off. So we would like it if you please go and view their channel. Um, I would have to say beyond kind, nice. We had a great time. We laughed. We walked around and we toured their uh, resort that they're staying on. 
And yes. um, we want to actually thank Jeff and Tina for inviting us over. Um, thank yeah. you for the beach bag. Yes. We've been needing the bag for a while because we left our beach bag at home. So that really, thank you. Guys, we are up early. We are headed to Devil's Mill Hopper Geological State Park, which is located in Gainesville. It's about 30 minutes from our campground. So we heard a lot about this place and we actually wanted to go check it out because from my understanding, it has a sinkhole where you can actually go down into it. He's pretty salty about that. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> he planned on driving it or flying it, I should say. That's my stuff. I can't fly my drone. I had to come and take my drone out because there's no sense of taking it with me. Because knowing me, I'd be tempted to fly it still. And I don't want to do that. So, this park is $2 per person, but no one's here. $4 to park. And right now, they are working off the honor system. And... I guess everyone is paying. Anyway. I have a little overlook. See, that's the sinkhole. Hmm. That's the sinkhole. It just looks like a low valley to me. Mm -hmm. Looks like a, a muddy sinkhole huh yeah muddy sinkhole yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna go down there we're gonna climb down those stairs and check it out okay double i think i lost the shanti there's a lot of stairs leading down oh, look at this guys this is nice. Different. Anyway, you got to get out. You got to do something. Um, well, we would have been on the campground all day, but our plans are to go back to the campground. I want to gonna hit some balls today, play a little golfing. Sure. We was asked about our golfing. We has we have not been playing. We played a lot what, once or twice, mm -hmm. and have not been playing since because the weather's so funny, and it's just so much to see down here. Yeah, but that takes me back to when we he bought his golf clubs, yes. and I got mine from Played Against Sports. So I'm really glad I did that, and I went that route because I only invested what a hundred in. Oh, 150 150 for a set of golf clubs and a sand wedger um and then a couple of balls so i really didn't have a huge investment in it so i feel like i'm the one that came out yeah and guys i am point. actually i got i paid i play what's close to 600 600 mm -hmm. or something for my clubs I'm the one losing here. It's like throwing away money if I'm not using those clubs. So I got to get out there and try to use those clubs. Yeah. I got to get out there and learn this sport. It's a sport, right? Yeah, golfing, golfing is, is a sport. sport. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It just so happens that I'm good at it, though. Right along with shuffleboard. So <laughs> don't worry. You'll get better soon. One day. Hey, so 
You know what would have been neat? If they made a bridge to go right across there where you can actually walk across and you stand in the middle of the water. That would have been nice. Yeah. Instead of just stopping the bridge right here. Yeah, there's one there. There's one over here. One over here. One over here. It's the, the entire land around the sinkhole uh -huh. is eventually going to be part of the sinkhole. But you know what? If you look at it, yeah, that's all land. Look, it's like this This part had caved in right here. When we rewind, feel so nice. We time. my drone with me this time Ashanti didn't see any drones no drone signs so you know you know you think about Shanti she like the drone police she always looking out for things that I cannot do so she got a head start probably looking for some drone signs now you see any drone signs <laughs> she said no it's getting warm out here Starting to warm up. The thing, the thing about Florida, the weather dropped real low at night, but during the daytime, it warms up nice. I mean, like when we first got out this morning, it was only like 45 degrees. Okay. Alrighty. So he, they said stay on the main trail and then the alligators are to the left. So you ready to see some alligators? I'm ready to see some gators. <laughs> the alligators are everywhere. The alligators are everywhere? Just keep an eye out for them because they're usually laying alongside the trail. Oh, about five feet from the edge of the trail. Awesome. Really? Awesome. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Talmadge, I'm gonna have you walk five feet on the side of the trail. Five feet on the side of the trail? What yeah. is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you think you're going to collect your uh, insurance from me? Yes. Early? Yes. That is the plan. That is the plan. You saw gators too? Yeah. Oh. I cannot wait. Gator, 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 gator. It says stay on gravel trail at least 20 feet from wildlife do not collect any plants leave wildlife alone do not throw rocks or anything else into the wetlands leave no trace deposit trash and trash cans no smoking no pets bikes fishing oh talmage i got it no drones allowed Let's let's go on the right here real quick. Town. Over here. So guys, I see that I have to be creative to get Ashanti out. Now this is something that she'll do. She don't even know that she's actually getting exercise in right now. She's she's walking. She's seeing wildlife. Look at her. She's engaged. It's scenic. This is more scenic. Yeah, it's scenic. It's beautiful. I start coming here to get my walk on in the morning. This is more scenic. It's beautiful. And it's by water. They get their walk on. Right? Okay. Yeah. And people coming out to walk. And look how scenic this is. I can get my miles in quick here. This place is huge you guys so it costs five dollars to park your car you get out and you walk around that's all you do and if you're arriving here on your bike it's two dollars a bike look at this wildlife out here guys that bird there looked like he was in the fight what what is he eating oh he got something he got a fish or something
Hold on. What's that? Oh, oh, <gasps> look at that. <laughs> Guys, I'm not getting close to that. Look how big he is. I hope you can see it. I see a tail over here too. Go get a close up. Uh, the no. Gator. No, I'll let you do that. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Mama did not raise <laughs> Oh, eat that fish already. Oh, he look like oh. he's ready to bite. Oh, man. They are super close. They are close. Wow. I know one thing. Uh-uh, don't be pushing me. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. <laughs> I got witnesses. <laughs> Look at him. Look at his mouth. Look at him, guys. He's looking, Shanti. He's sizing you up. He's sizing you up. He is. You don't want none of this, okay? I know. Hi, Sando. I want to see you get all the ground and fight them on the ground and do that. Oh, and I can wrestle. I know how to wrestle. And I know how to take shuffleboard. So, <laughs> no. don't want none yeah. Why did she have to say shuffleboard? Wow. What do we have to learn? Knowing how to play shuffleboard got anything to do with this? Guys, this is the reason why if you're not subscribed, you need to hit that subscribe button because we see beautiful nature. We get out and look at nature and we show everything. It's not all about us. It's about what we see. So when you're seeing what we see, it's so going to this stuff firsthand. And we're doing this while camping. Yep. Enjoying life while camping, looking at stuff that you would typically never see. And it's keeping the animals in the natural environment that they Oh, he's are yarning over here. Look. Oh, look. He's just yarn. He's huge. Okay. He must be tired of sunbathing. <laughs> <laughs> he's tired of sunbathing. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm done with this. <laughs> Time to eat some ducks. <laughs> So remember when Michelle's husband said that she uh, that he wanted to wrestle a gator? Yes. And you and they're down Michael, here. Michael, Michael Bradley. Bradley. Yep. Remember you want to wrestle a gator? Here I want you to are. wrestle him. Oh, you I like snakes too? I like alligator snakes. That's my thing. I, I want to wow. wrestle an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I do. <laughs> So his, his wife said he like watching MMA wrestling. I'm watching this show called Swamp People. And that's how they, you know, feed their family. They hunt alligators. Oh. Oh really? Yeah. So you wanna catch you wanna catch that's what I want to do. You just wanna wrestle one. One time. Just wrestle one. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You bad, Michael. Michael, you bad. He got his mouth open. He ready for you. Michael Bradley, shout out to him for wanting to wrestle a gator. I'm going, hey, we can come get you and bring you to him. Yes. Look at him. He's just opening and closing his mouth. I know. You want a Shanti over here? No. You want a Shanti? No, no. He wants you. You're a little bit, you know, you got some meat to you. Uh -uh. I'm all bones for him. I'm, I'm nothing but like a chicken snack. 
You a, hey. you a, you a, a whole He's, roast beef. Yeah, he start with you first. <laughs> he can start with you and first. Augers. Go out there and wrestle him. No. No, no. Mike would have wrestled him. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Hi. Hi. Go pet him. Uh-uh. But they make belts out of them. They make mm. alligator nuggets. Look, he don't want to hear that. He was like, uh-uh. Yeah, he's going to eat you. Yeah. yeah he gonna, <laughs> I'm going to make you food huh? <laughs> for talking that. They make, okay. what What else do they, they have alligator purses. Mm -hmm. Um. Let me be talking that around him. He don't want to hear that. I'm just, well, right now he's no, he safe. He closed his eyes on he's you. He's safe. He's safe. Oh, he's bathing. Yeah, he some bathing. Hey, yeah, he's getting his bath. Just bathe on. He said you can watch me. Hey, let's keep an eye back here too. Yeah, man. yeah. All these things out here, we look at one way. They might. Right. Be, uh oh, he's <gasps> moving. Oh, oh, stop! <laughs> Don't do that. Uh uh. He's living his best life, y'all. <laughs> so if an alligator could live his best life, we could live ours too. That's right. True. He don't have no bills, no worries. Right. We don't have to pay these high gas prices out here either. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Wow. That is beautiful. This is. This place is infested with gators. Yeah, it is. And birds looking for food. So if there's gators here, there's birds here, there must be all kind of fish out there. I think I see a snake head up over there. A snake peeking out. Mm. So as long as he stay over there. Yeah. I like all animals except a snake. I can't deal with no snakes. Man, that's something. We come to Florida and see our gators. I know. That is amazing. Okay, let's, let's move on. Okay. Like a Jurassic Park out here. <laughs> That's a big bumblebee or whatever it is. <laughs> Whew. There he goes again. You guys think as of right now being full timer, how you like it? We love, love it. That. You love it? People think we're crazy because we're in a 25 foot trailer. Uh-huh. But it feels like a mansion really it feels like because yeah. every your outdoors is like part of your an extension of your home wow so it just feels yes it is it doesn't feel as tight as yeah the quality of life is amazing high quality life yeah. what's yeah. your first name michaela michaela what's your isaiah? Name? isaiah isaiah yeah. nice being you guys yeah, yeah. It just covid hit and we just like he was put on unemployment i was working in hospice mm -hmm. so i was just like falling apart during that like healthcare yeah. workers during that time it was just a mess yeah and we just felt like now what are we doing time. with our lives well, we were like, like it'll never be the right time but we want to do it while we're young and we can still right you can still get out and enjoy and be active and why wait because we were just like we'll do it one day one day one day and then we're just like we just need to do it and it's it's been hard it's not easy mm -hmm. but the like it's people we heard somebody say that RVing is like not an easy life it's a simple life. It's a but simple not an life, easy but not life. an easy life, and that's yeah. so true. Like mm -hmm. it's hard, but it's also like so. You're amazing. always dealing with stuff with the RV and all that, like you guys now. Yeah. But it's uh, it's definitely worth it. It's way worth it. Yeah. Don't it, wait. It, you know? And also, it gives you good quality time. Right. And we don't have For kids, sure. so yeah. like we're just like able to spend this time together. That's awesome. And We're moving through the night like we're from a different star Flying over streets and our broken hearts But they can even touch us, we found a different beat Paradise is waiting and we bought the The one thing that you like about this park? I like the option to go fishing There is a lot of fish in this lake Yeah? 
that you can't catch. <laughs> so how long do you guys stay here? You guys full time RV? Yeah. Nice. Nice. Well, enjoy your fishing, guys. How you like your day? I liked it. We did so many different adventures that were outside. Things that we probably will never see. Um, so, yeah, it's it nice. Things that we would never see. Like, those birds were beautiful. Those yeah. big alligators were nice. That whole park was really nice, so. Yes. Yeah. I agree. I agree. We had a fun filled day. And you guys, you see what happens when you get out, you go and find your adventure. Um, and we met a really nice couple that went full time RVing. Yes. And I would have to say they look extremely young, but their mindset is what I really, really appreciate. Yes. And it's. And that got to be so. Go out and do it now. Yeah, to be young and just yeah. and say wow we, we need to just get out and do this let's just yeah. go out and explore yeah. that takes a lot of courage. confidence courage and confidence yeah believing that you can do it yeah um guys the other night we had fun we did our first live yeah. we enjoyed chatting with everybody i mean it was something different for us and we think we like it yeah what you think? Well, we did. We we enjoyed it. We liked it. Sorry if we weren't able to answer all of the questions. Um, but what we are going to do is we're going to do more live chats. Yes, yes. Uh, also, At least once a month or more. Shout out to all the Canadians that was on the channel. I am so sorry we missed you guys. Um, we later rewatched the video and we saw all the Canadian flags come up. Hey, yeah. shout out. Thanks for supporting your bandits. Yeah. Thanks Everyone for coming on the live. I would say. Yeah, yes, everywhere. <laughs> Everyone, because everybody started um, shouting out their shouting states. Shouting out their states. Their state. Yes, yes. So I like that. That was great. That was yeah. great. Um, anything else? No, I would have to say if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already subscribed, smash that red button, please. It helps us to continuously bring you this great footage. And don't forget to ring the bell so it will notify you now when we are gonna go live as well when new content comes out. Exactly, guys. And on that note, Bandits out.